15 minutes, 16 minutes of solid work. Of course, you know, in real time, it probably was anywhere between like an hour and 30, hour, 15 minutes of work. But watch this video, man. Get your handles right. We're going to work on your what uh, floaters. We're going to work on your layups. We're going to work on what else we're working on in this video. We're working on the uh, pull-up jumper, basic in-and-out jumper. Then we're going to work on just getting our step back off of three dribbles. So really actually four dribble, dribbles adding that uh, pound dribble we're using to get to the step back. And we're going to come off the screen with a jab step, reject the screen, shoot the three. So right now we're just going pound, twing, cross, twing, twing. Twin cross, pound, twin cross, twin, twin, twin cross, pound, twin cross, twin, twin, twin cross. I believe I did five, maybe six. I mean, might be did ten in the video, but I believe uh total. You know, I went uh total. I probably did twenty reps, twenty five reps each side. You know, you can break it down into sets, which I believe I did probably did five sets of five or uh, six sets of five. However, I did it, but just getting these combinations, and I am working with a heavy ball. Every ball increase your hand speed, your hand strength. Um, just overall, it helps you become a better basketball player. Now it's just one, two, kill a cross over wide, twin cross, kill a cross, one, two, three, one, two, three. You know, and I'm not saying you have to actually follow what I do. You can, you know, throw your own stuff in. That's what I would particularly do when I'm watching somebody else. You know, I come and say if I see something, I see somebody work out that I like. Uh, I might, you know, do some of the few of the same things, but I tweak it a little bit to my personal style, you know, or what I personally believe will work for me. So, you know, right here we're going in and out, reverse twin, twin cross, in and out, reverse twin, twin cross, in and out, reverse twin, twin cross, in and out, reverse twin, twin cross. What's up, man? What's up? The monster bed. The monster bed. Okay, let's go get the monster. Look, here I'm talking to my son. You see, look, I'm versatile with it, man. Got to be versatile. You know, love your kids. Show your kids. Where is that? Go, go, monster. Leave, monster. Leave, monster. Leave my son alone. See, you got to hype him up. And I'm leaving this in here so nobody so nobody won't say I don't love my son. Nah, let me stop playing. But nah, I love my, I love my son a lot, a lot. I love my son to the moon and back, beyond the moon and back. But nah. No, he was talking about the monsters. We got the monsters though. So back to the program. Boom. So wide twin pop hit him. Uh, uh, hit him. Uh, lean with it a little bit. You can throw a little bit more lean on it. I, my thing is right now, just like I'm not working with the carry. Sometimes I work with the carry, just uh, over exaggerate the move. But that's just part of it. Boom. Over exaggerated with the twin. Boom. Now we euro stepping. Boom. Right left. Taking that pound dribble. Right left. Uh, on step. Right left. Getting that Euro step. I believe I did three, maybe five. I mean, so you can do five, 15, 10, 25, depending on what type of time you got. You know, I would say if you're working a lot of stuff, at least make 10. You know, at least make five, but you know, 10 is a great number. So I do the same thing right, left, right, left. Boom, after I finish that right, left, I do the same thing, finishing with the left hand. You're going to see, boom, left hand. I like using chairs or um, trash cans. To simulate a body, of course they can't move, but uh, it, it helps. You know, I, it helps especially if you don't have a live body. It helps. I mean, this what basketball players do. Sometimes I get some heat as far as people say, "Oh, the trash can, oh, the chair," and I believe I, it has to come from people who don't play basketball. People who play basketball, basketball players understand what's the importance of using a chair, even a cone. You know. I just don't like cones personally because you can step over them. But cones are great, you know, help you work with your footwork. You know, so, you know, to the people that always got something to say about people that's using chairs and cones and all that, I believe you don't play basketball or you haven't played basketball. So, you know, you can keep your comments to yourself. Well, really keep dropping the comments. I'll take them like a grain of salt. Boom, now we're doing a Euro step on the opposite side. Left, right, boom, left, right. Now we're finishing with that right hand, right leg. It's good to have both finishes. Both, uh, finish, being able to finish with both hands, left, right. I mean, people always ask, how can I finish with my right hand? How can I finish with my left hand? Practice it. Like, practice. Have you tried practicing? Like, honestly, have you tried practicing? And, you know, it's good to ask questions, but do you apply the answers that you get to the question that you ask? If you don't, I mean, you don't really want it. You don't want to get better, you know? So, you know, people always want to ask questions, but they don't want to put the work in. 
You know, if you can get to somebody who knows what they're doing and you're asking questions, sometimes you don't even have to ask questions. You can watch. We're in an information world where everything is on YouTube. Everything is on YouTube. Everything is on Google. If you personally know somebody, great. Watch them. You know, get close to them. And if they answer the questions you're asking, I mean, that's cool. If not, I mean, watch it on YouTube. Watch it on Google and apply what you need. Apply what you don't need. Now we just hop step and finishing with this floater. Getting it right. I'm still finishing with this floater. Gotta have a good floater. Gotta get over that good floater. Get over them them real athletic dude, dudes that's jumping with their head at the rim. You know, you don't want nobody coming by snatching your ball out there and running the other way. Whose shoes you got on? Oh, man, where you going? You going somewhere? Where you going? See, look, your shoes too big. Them shoes too big. Yeah, that's what you doing. You're gonna hurt yourself. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's okay, it's okay It's okay, you gotta slow down, big dog You gotta slow down Go put them. Then you gonna put them back on And you got them on the wrong feet You gotta put them on the other feet uh -uh. Go on the other feet Live and energized We still here though, we still working Now we working on this jump shot You gotta put it on this foot Left shoe, left foot, right shoe, right foot mm. Now we working on this double in and out Boom, left, right, huh, put it in Put it in, put it in that one Yep, put your foot in that one. Boom, now you got your shoes on. Be careful, though. You got to be careful. Mm, man. Now we just hitting that double in and out. One, two. Ha, ha. Left, right. Cashing in. Uh, flick that wrist. Same thing, right, left. Whatever we do to the right, we typically do to the left. Uh, I didn't do it on them layups, but I, I did it on the opposite side. And I typically do the same thing on the right side as the left side, the left wing and the right wing. If you really want to get going to details with it, you can do the same thing at every spot. You know, that's how you know you'll be sure with the you know amount of repetitions that you get and you'll be confident in the moves you do on uh, double in and out just working that double. This just get your you know your defenders on their heels, you know. And everybody that knows that really play basketball, play the game of basketball knows you don't and in sports and athletics, you do not want to be on your heels. So we did it on the same left of 45 elbow. Um, who was that? One, two, left, right, hit him, bang. Hit him, hit him, hit him. You go, uh, make sure you drink all your smoothies, son. Boom, huh, knock down. And get right, keep it tight, get right. And keep it tight, get right, get right, keep it tight. Boom, left, right. This is a good move. Like I say, repetition, man. Repetition, reps and reps and reps is the fall on learning. I said we're gonna work a little bit of everything. Ha ha. Boom. You know, we work on these levels. The dribbling first. From the dribbling, we went to the layups. From the layups, uh, I did some floaters from the floaters. You see this mid-range from the mid-range, boom, we're coming out shooting threes. Uh the other level would be catch and shoot. I mean, we can do transition shooting. Do transition layups. It's all type of stuff. But just make sure you break your game down to how you want it. You know, like I say, even if you're getting it for cardio, whatever, just work and come in and just work. If you don't have no idea what you really actually want to do, man, come in for, and work out for 30 minutes. What's wrong with working out for 30 minutes? Nothing, you know. I believe you should put some time to your day to, you know, do some type of walking, whatever. Whatever you do, walking. I think walking is the best thing. Backpedaling as well. So get out and walk. So now we one, two, three. Pop, that's that step back I was talking about earlier. Have four dribbles. Taking that pound, getting your defender to open up. Again, we getting that trash can. Just simulating the defender. Of course, we're going to have the defender moving. And he probably bump you. But just getting that good repetition. When I say play as much basketball as you can. But same time, be smart. You know, take care of your body. You know, you're playing a lot of basketball. Make sure you're stretching. Make sure you're taking cold baths. Make sure you're taking cold showers. Make sure you're taking hot showers. Make sure you're getting in a hot tub. Make sure you're getting your massages. Make sure you take care of yourself. You know, parents, take care of your kids. You pay for training. If you're going paying for that training, man, pay for them them kids to go get cryotherapy. Pay for them, uh, pay go buy some ice, you know, type of stuff. Make sure you got, your kids got uh, some decent pair of shoes if you can afford it. I mean, Man, we, I feel like, you know, it's certain situations where you might not be able to afford some shoes. Okay, if you're in that situation, you know, times will get better. Just keep working, work with what you got. Um, but if you can afford it, you had the money necessary, man, you should be buying your kids 
shoes, new basketball shoes every month, man. You know, it's hard on them feet, hard on their toes wearing the same shoes all the time. And I know people grew up with me or, man, I, we wore, yeah, that's cool, but that doesn't make it right that you wore the same shoes all season. That doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. That's just, you know, that's just what we was dealt. That's what we was accustomed to, you know. I mean, all the players, they hooped in chucks. Them wasn't good for your feet. Shoot, them wasn't good for your feet. You always know an athlete in the halftime, nine, nine times out of ten by their feet. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're an older athlete or you played, you know, you played when you was wearing the same shoes all the time. You know, you could tell people that don't take care of their feet. And your feet are very important. Very, very important. Mm. So right here, we're just jabbing, coming off that screen, treating this like it's a screen, boom, jabbing, getting the defender to open up on the right foot. Now we're hopping. Hopping into the shot. Of course, we can do right, left into the shot. We can do left, right into the shot. But we're working on the hop. This is what we're working on, the hop. So jabbing, right foot, hop, pop, ha. Man, I prefer nothing but net. Like I say, a lot of times, I don't even like counting no shots unless they number net. You know, jab, pop. Or you got to just, you know, go through right. Huh? See, I don't like that. A lot of rim, but we pulling up, man. Pulling up, being ready to shoot that ball coming off that screen. Or just jab and getting your defender off balance, boom. Being ready to shoot the ball. Beautiful shot. The shot looks beautiful. Artwork, you know. Love yourself. People say stay humble. Y'all be humble. Humble in the presence of the Lord, you know. You know, and the things that you're getting, the things that you're receiving. But at the same time, you speak it out loud, you know. You know, be proud of who you are. Be proud of who you serve. You know, be proud of the work that you putting in the world. In the world, be proud of the positive things you do in the world. You know, you shouldn't let nobody dim your light. You shouldn't let nobody dim your light, and for sure, you shouldn't dim your own light because you make people feel uncomfortable. So let your light shine bright. You know, be respectable. You know, about how you treat people. Be respectable to yourself first. More first, first of all, because if you don't respect yourself, don't love yourself. I always talk about it. You cannot love nobody else. You know, and you can't love the game, you don't love the game, you don't love life. You can't get nobody else around you to love life. Right here, we just jabbing, just a counter. We can do any move, but I'm just keeping it basic. Kind of working this pushover, crossover, jabbing to the right, pounding the ball. We're actually going what? Right, left, pound, right, left. Oh, I hop with it, uh, hop. Now I'm still hopping, using that left foot coming off, hopping off that left foot, landing on both feet, getting that shot. So jab right. Boom, I'm hopping, skip, whatever you want to call it, hop, pop into the shot, huh, cash money. Ooh, I dislike missing two in a row, but everybody miss, man. That's part of the game. It's part of the game. See, I show my misses, especially when I'm doing it like this, the, the long content. I'm showing my misses, showing my makes, I'm going to show the faults, because people don't believe people miss. I mean, in them shorts, we trying to get through with it real quick, so I'm just get it gone, get it out, get the content out. So, of course, I'm showing them, but the makes. But in reality, everybody misses. That's just part of the game. Nobody's perfect, but that doesn't mean you don't aim to be perfect. You know, and people can't get mad at you for trying to be perfect. Doesn't mean you feel like you're better than nobody. Just shoot, that's just the way of life that you want to live. So now we jabbing left. Who was coming off with that uh that first one? We was hopping out that right foot, uh, going to the basic side, just coming out. Now we hopping out that left foot, boom, hopping into it. I say it's good that you had that hop coming out that left foot. You had that hop coming out that right foot. You know, it's good that you had a left right foot work. It's good that you had a right left foot work. You know, I mean, just work, working on your game. I'm saying being simple with it, being simple, but working on it over and over and over and over again. And like I say, I always talk about it. I'm changing the dynamics of how people see, not even dynamic, I don't even know the word, don't even quote me, but how people see people that do athletic stuff. You know, you work out. Just because I'm cause i training to do footwork doesn't mean I'm trying to go run track. Just because I'm lifting weights doesn't mean I'm going to be a strong man or I'm going to go to the uh, the Olympia, Olympia tryouts. Just because I'm running sprints doesn't mean I'm trying to do track. Just because I'm in the pool swimming doesn't mean I'm trying to be an Olympic swimmer. It's exercise. We live in a world now to where if you're not a professional, this is not your job. And at the end of the day, I am a professional at what I do. You know? So, yes, I am a professional. But you can be a average person and want to go wake up and make you 50 shots. You can be an average person and wake up and want to go throw the football outside without saying I'm going to the NFL. You know, but 
you know, that's that that is a big topic, and then I'll talk about that. And this is why I have my platform, you know, sponsored, not sponsored, but you know, YouTube. Let us have our platform to where we can talk about things we want to talk about. Yeah, it's about basketball. As you see, follow these moves, you know, add to it, do what you want to do. But, you know, it's other stuff that's that's along with it that we're going to talk about as well while we talk on these videos, especially when I'm doing a 15-minute video, 30-minute video, hour video. So I believe it's all pertaining to, you know, not only basketball, but life, sports is life, you know, a big part of life, you know. Whether you like it or not, you know, it's a way of people cope and help, help a lot of people get out of situations, help people get into great situations. But we out this thing, man. Watch this video. Watch my other videos. Check out my clothing line. Y'all know how I go. Team Ryan Bennett. Team Ryan Bennett, let's get it, baby. Thank y'all for watching.